Most of the intelligence community doesn't believe he exists. The ones that do call him the Winter Soldier. He's a ghost. You'll never find him. Hey, uh, let's get a bit furious. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay. Um, what, what excites you about this, like where the direction's going, for S.H.I.E.L.D. and where the direction's going with the introduction of the Winter Soldier? I kind of like the fact that, um, you know, there's this whole level of intrigue going on here, that there's a mystery to be solved, and um, there's a real dilemma that's something that can't be solved with physicality. Mm. That, you know, the dilemma that this uh, film presents, you know, carries on into the next phase. So that um, through this evolution of Captain America coming into this particular century and accepting it and getting hold of it, Nick uh, kind of has to, to digress and go into or back into that shadow world where he and Natasha emerged from. Mm. Uh, and uh, we'll see where that kind of takes this whole franchise from there. And of course, you know, you get the best toys. And I'm kind of the best superhero with my <laughs> wings. Yes, I agree, yes. Were you afraid of heights or are you just like No, I'm a certified skydiver. I love, I, I'm all into heights. But there's a difference when you're high and you're coming in face first and you're coming in feet first. The problem with this was I was horrified because every time I was up there, I was coming in face first. So it was, it was, it was extremely difficult. What is the best and most interesting thing you have discovered about your character, Nick Fury? The best and most interesting thing? Mm. Um... Because the characters are so rich, I mean, they, it goes back decades. Well, the best and most interesting thing for me is, you know, um, the thing that's under the patch is a very important thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, can you tell us anything about that? Because I can't, I don't no. want to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know if it'll ever be used again, but it's great. Well, it's, they say, like, you know, if you could pick any power, what would it be? Has yours been flying, or do you kind of want to change I would, it now? I would, I would do x-ray vision. Oh! I would... <laughs> see? <laughs> you don't know what to... You don't know what to cover, right? You're like, ah! <laughs> Why would you say that out of all the powers? I would do x-ray vision. I feel like that's the one... It would make me, like, the ultimate... TSA you would just be smiling agent. all day, all day, all so day. Like, I would get my lunch. I'd be like, "Where's the closest Victoria's Secret?" I'm just gonna <laughs> hang out and have Hi. lunch. <laughs> Hi. I mean, yeah, if you get a power, you get to choose what you want. So One hundred percent. Fair enough. Fair enough. Second would be flying. Oh, okay. If I lived in LA, my superpower would be oh, flying. Mine would be teleporting. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, I've had a lot of thought that's about good. this, and that's then it would good. be the Jedi mind power, so you can manipulate Ooh. people in a way. It's like you just tell people what to do, and they that's do it. But you good. get that anyway. That's good. You can tell anyone what to do, that's and they do it. Done. Poof. <laughs> Done. Oh, that's a good power to have. That you've got. Have a ponder on that. I was that. looking at her Twitter feed this morning. She's got a gown and a cow suit. Yes. <laughs> that's my cow suit. That's your cow suit. Yes. Who's the guy wearing it? Oh, he's a friend, but uh, when I, he, sure. needed, he, needed, he needed to borrow it. Um, he was eating breakfast. Looked like they'd just woken up that morning. Yeah, he's actually dating us. Mm, mm, it's just, mm -hmm. just not me. Yes. He's still in Australia. Yeah, yeah. I'm in LA now. I was now. just on your Twitter feed this morning. Do I bore the crap out of you? Not really. Oh, that's something. It was okay. Okay, yeah. that's something.